I made this great barrel in the blender, thanks to the YouTube tutorials by the way, and I just realized something. In the video, the tutorial shows that they're using a multiple UV tiles in just one material, and I didn't know how can I use that inside of the Unreal Engine 5. So let's look at it together. So I just came to the blender and as you can see, I'm just gonna go to layout. I have a barrel like that. It has multiple actors in the collection. I don't need to just make them one mesh. I'm just gonna use it that way. But when I go to UV editing tab and when I select them all and go to the edit tab, as you can see, I have multiple UV tiles, which is UDEMS. So, this barrel has two materials. I'm gonna go to layout again. As you can see, I have wood and I have metal material. So in the UV texture, I'm using multiple UV tiles only for wood. I'm just gonna select everything again and I'm gonna go to UV tiles. As you can see, I have two different UV tiles. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make some great textures to this barrel into Substance Painter and I'm gonna export those maps into the Unreal and let's see how we can use them inside of the Unreal. Okay, I came to the Substance Painter. By the way, I know my UVs are terrible right now. You don't have to clarify it again. So I just made this texture inside of the Substance Painter. And as you can see, when I come to the texture list, there is a metal material and also a wood material. We have two different materials because we export this barrel from the blender like that. But in the wood section, we have two different UV tiles, 1001 and 1002, which is some part of the barrel is in the one, some part of barrel is in the two. So when I export those textures from the Substance Painter, it will export as a two different texture map. So natively, Unreal Engine doesn't have a UDIM support, but there is a way that we can use to use UDIMs. So let's export this and put inside the Unreal Engine and see how we can do it. I came to the Unreal Engine, as you, as you can see, our barrel is looking pretty fine. So how did I do it? Let's do it from the scratch again. I'm gonna delete all folder, I'm gonna click yes, 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 apply to all. Okay, as you can see in the barrel section, in the barrel folder, I have all of those components of this mesh. I'm saying it, I'm saying it again, I'm not using just a single static mesh. I didn't just join them together in the blender, it's just a preference. So I have two material, as you can see, I have metal material and a wood material. So how are we going to use textures, especially the UDIMs, inside of those materials? So as you can see, when I came to my textures folder, every texture I have, there is a one sign of the bottom right corner. It says VT, which is, that means virtual textures. The UDIMs are only available with virtual textures right now. Or you can use, you can assign multiple materials into your static meshes and you can use multiple textures, UV tiles. You can use it that way, but I would not prefer to do it. So what is virtual textures basically? Let's have you have a so big textures like 4K and they have pretty big sizes. And let's say you have hundreds of them in your scene. So that means your game ran should render all the time of those big textures inside of the scene, so it's a huge performance loss. So what is virtual textures does? It's just creating pieces from those textures, and when it needed, it, it's rendering again, and sometimes it's dissolving them or like cutting them, not showing them, or decreasing the quality sometimes. So for the UDIMs, we need to use virtual textures. How are we gonna do it? Just go to Edit tab and go to Project Settings type virtual textures, not in mobile, but in the virtual texture side, 
I'm going to click enable virtual texture support and enable virtual textures on textures import. When we will import, it should be enabled. Also, you can change the tile size, the border size or other things. For example, you can enable virtual texture light maps. If, you bake, if you're going to bake your lights inside of the Unreal Engine, you can use virtual textures from those light maps too. So when you're going to import your textures, I'm just going to delete them all. Or still I did. I open my textures folder, and as you can see, my metal base color 1002, normal 1002, metal occlusion, roughness, and metallic 1002. So the metal side just have one tile of UV. But when we came to the wood side, the barrel wood base color 1001 and barrel wood base color 1002. So there's multiples, as you can see. So how are we going to use UDIMS? If I want to import those multiple textures, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to click the first one, the 1001. I'm going to select it. I'm going to select for normal map and I'm going to select for this multiple map, the occlusion, roughness, and metallic. So I highlighted them. I'm going to drag them into the Unreal Engine. I'm going to click OK. The Unreal, Unreal Engine automatically just turning them into virtual textures and getting for and getting those two UV tiles. If we have like four, it will it was going to get it was still going to get all of those textures as a UDEM. So let's open it. As you can see, there's two different UV tiles in here. So you can use this as a just one texture in your materials, which is, let's open it, go to barrel, I'm going to go to wood, I'm going to delete them, in the barrel texture, I'm going to choose the base color, go into the base color, normal, to the normal, and you can get this occlusion, roughness, and metallic map. By the way, if you don't know what is this texture is, it basically contains different uh, maps inside of the every color in RGB. Only R for ambient occlusion. As you can see, it's ambient occlusion map. And G for the roughness. And B for the only metallic. So it's wood, so it's, there's no metallic in here. So re ambient occlusion. G roughness. And blue metallic. I'm just going to apply them all, save it. Let's do the same thing for metal material. I did all of those for every material. So I'm just going to select, I'm just selecting everything and I'm just dragging into here. Okay. It's a giant. There's some slice problems. <laughs> Let's come and check if there's any problem. No, it's totally, totally works fine. I'm thinking that if you don't want to use an Virtual textures for UDIMS, you can use multiple materials inside of the one object. But I would not recommend that because if you already have some big textures and if you have like more than maybe three or five UDIMS, it will cost a lot of performance. And if you're using that object a lot in your scene, that means there will be some I don't know, tens of them, hundreds of them in the scene. So it is not the best way to use it. If you know any other way how you can use UDIMS in Unreal Engine, please write a comment down below. I really want to learn to. And I'm not making a video for a long time. I'm just going to continue to do it again. And I will make content about Unreal Engine and 3D game design in general. So it was the video. If you liked the video, please like it and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to me. Until the next video, see you all. I hope you all doing great works.